Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On today's episode of Topics, we're going to be talking about contacting the dead. Now, the reason I chose this topic is because on TikTok, there has been several videos coming across my feed of people saying that they are psychics and mediums that are promising people that they are contacting uh, people's loved ones. Also, um, I wanted to touch on this subject because there are um, religions that say that they can contact the dead as well by praying to them. So we're going to look into this topic and see what the Bible says about these things. First, we're going to turn to Leviticus and see what it uh, says about contacting spirits. This is Leviticus 20 verse 6. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and what will cut him off from among his people. So this is talking about contacting wizards and people that contact the dead. We should not be going after these type of people because God does not like that. We shouldn't be doing it. It also mentions this again in Leviticus in uh, chapter 19, verse 31. Regard not them that they have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards. To be defiled by them, I am the Lord your God. So we see here both these, chap these verses in Leviticus that God does not like people contacting spirits. Now we're going to look to Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 14. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or any observer of times, or enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with the familiar spirits, or a wizard, or necromancer, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. So, this is another verse in the Old Testament that forbids doing anything that involves witchcraft, sorcery, or anything like that because God only wants us to contact him. And then also we have a verse in the Old Testament that talks about the state of the dead. So we're gonna take a look at Ecclesiastes 9, verse five and six. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead not know anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. So from what this verse is saying, when someone passes and goes to heaven, or unfortunately sometimes if they go to hell, they can't connect with earth. They, there's a veil that separates earth from the afterlife. So these verses are saying that those people are cut off. So there's no way to actually contact these people. So that makes you wonder, these mediums or these people that are trying to contact the dead, what are they contacting? A lot of people say that the demons will actually act as if they're the loved ones to deceive. And that's the way I believe as well. I think that people that do these type of things, that they're actually contacting evil spirits that are disguising themselves. Now, a lot of people might say, well, that's the Old Testament. What does the New Testament say about it? Because if it's in the Old Testament, a lot of times people like to say, well, maybe it's changed now that we're in the New Testament era. Um, so I'm going to take a verse from Luke chapter 16, verse 26. 
And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they, they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. So that's talking about the veil. Once someone passes, even in the New Testament, it says that there's a barrier that cannot be breached. So people that are dead, we cannot contact them because they are in the afterlife. That's what the Bible says about this issue. Lastly, I wanted to address um, praying to the dead. Now, um, not to offend anyone, but the Catholic Church teaches that we could pray to Mary and the apostles. This is a belief that is not biblical. We should not be doing that. Now, I'm going to point out a verse that talks about uh, why that is. 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 6. This is good, and it pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to know the truth. For there is one God, and there is one who brings God and men together, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself to redeem all. Now, in other translations, it says mediator, that Christ is our mediator. Christ is the only person that we can contact God through. Now, when we try to pray to Mary or an apostle, they are a human being. They were a human being on earth. So if that's the case, and we read those previous texts, that veil between the heavenly realms and us is closed. So we cannot contact the dead. But luckily for us, because Christ was risen and is alive, he is our mediator and we can contact him and him alone. So the point of all this is do not be seeking mediums or anyone that says that they can contact your loved ones because that is a lie. They are contacting demons that will deceive you. So be careful what you do in life because God's word is clear. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. Have a wonderful day.